you guys are doing single camera, right? No. Or was it two camera? Mm -hmm. So, wow, okay. You know, we wanted to shoot it like a, so it would come off as a single camera show. Okay. So that was always the goal and to never, you know, compromise lighting by cross covering. Yeah. And um, plus we didn't have a lot of room in the jail because it was a real location. So um, a lot of times like in the cell, of course, that was single camera. And if the, the second camera didn't work, then it didn't work and it would be mm -hmm. single camera. But when they're, you know, a lot of the show is like two people sitting down and a lot of dialogue. And so, yeah, we do, you know, cameras side by side or you know one in a profile one more straight on okay yeah so it wasn't sort of true like we're, we're doing the master for the next two hours and then or was it sort of really progressive like yeah we do the master first um b camera would usually find like kind of a more unconventional off angle um usually a little more compressed version of of a wide gotcha if it worked yeah. you know if it didn't, it would stand down, and then we'd come in for the for the coverage with yeah. two cameras most of the times. What was it like working in um, in that jail for so? Oh my so god! It it oh it it took a toll on you after a while. You know, um, it was it was quite hard because just not um, having all of the control in the world. Yeah. Do you know that? Um, it's so it's like Arlene. It's OPP Arlene's Parish Prison. It's and abandoned, then, right? Yeah, since it closed down after Katrina. Okay. And um, basically just movie shoot in it now. Okay. You know? you know, so there's like all the existing lighting in there. The Changed out all the bulbs, so yeah. they all matched. But just, the how, just to like access individual housing was like, it's a jail, so they're all bolted shut. Mm -hmm. So like to, you know, to manipulate an individual fixture required you know, putting the grips like cut out indies or black or yeah. diffusion. So those would be like affixed by a magnet. And so one by one. So that was stuff like that was just time consuming shooting in the cells, of course, because it was so small and getting yeah. cameras in there. We did have like one smallish portal per like Jimmy and Larry each had one in their respective cells that we could get the camera through for another angle. Portals like holes in yeah in that the, our department made it was like maybe like six feet wide by four feet tall that would it would it was a big deal it wasn't just like pop in and out like we'd have yeah. to like factor that in the schedule of like it coming out putting the the small GF eight arm through Dolly ba you know the the base in the uh, next door cell and then we you know if we'd want to shoot from that wall that's what we would do yeah. Um, and then just, yeah, being in a, a jail for that long, you know. Yeah. It was like pretty much the whole second half of the shoot. So like three months or something. Wow. Was, Where did you guys shoot all the exterior stuff? A lot of practical locations. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, most of the exterior, like the, the corn fields were sugarcane fields converted to corn. So they planted corn, like no acres way. of corn like months before we shot. Yeah, it was like a lot of like outskirts of New Orleans that we shot for Illinois. Yeah. And then the the stage work, like we the mess hall of the jail that was on a stage, the psych offices, the it's dentist office. It's interesting what they would pick for on location versus stage stuff like did you not do you look back and go like, man, I wish we could have just shot everything on location or everything no, on stage? No, it actually worked out great. We actually had locations lined up for mess hall and the dentist office. In the psych office, pretty much everything. And those, just because of schedule, time, money, you know, all this stuff, they ended up being built on a stage. It just yeah. made, and we had so much more control, and it actually was, was great.